Welcome back to my channel. My name's Nerd. We talk about Arcage here. And in this week's video, we're going to be doing what we've done in the past and look into a method of gold farming to see if it's any good. Now, before we get too far into this video, I greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. And also before we get into the method, I want to give a little bit of a backstory. So I started off on Arcage farming gold by fishing got into sport fishing which is a ton of fun but also very dangerous. I also looked into coin purses and I've farmed lock silver crates which are really nice because you don't have to actually spend any labor to make gold but both methods can be very time consuming. Now while I was fishing at least at first I had a small farm a 16 by 16 farm and a cottage that I kept in two crowns just so I had a little bit of land for the fun of it and I would grow different types of crops if you remember one of my older videos I did one on bobab trees and it was a nice little bit of side change you know a cool side hustle but I've kind of gotten sick of spending all of my playtime trying to farm gold I realized that you know what I'm farming gold so I can upgrade my gear so I can play with the game I want to PvP you know I want to get into big old naval battles want to go to the arena there are a lot of other things that I want to do and I don't want to just farm gold so I decided that I'm gonna take a look at farming again because I feel like it's something that you can do a little more passively that way you're actually sort of building gold while you're offline you know with your crops growing during that period of time you log in real quick harvest them get what you need sell what you need make your money and then you can play the game doing other things that you want to do so as an ex-fisherman i figured the best crop to start off with would be the bait worms so the way that i want to talk about it is to just show how much gold i can make from one 16 by 16 farm by selling a 16 by 16 full of bait worms after harvesting them. Talk about how much or how expensive it is vocation badge wise to fill up a 16 by 16 farm. How much labor it costs to plant and harvest them and what the silver per labor ratio is. If you like this type of format then let me know in the comments section. If you want different details, more details, less details, let me know that as well. Firstly, you buy the worm mounds or worm compost as they're technically called from the vocation badge shop which you can access which I access through my character menu they cost 80 vocation badges each and you can or at least I can fit 20 mounds on a 16 by 16 farm so that comes to a total of 1600 vocation badges to fill one 16 by 16 up the worm mounds mature at the same speed in any type of climate. They take about three hours to mature from when you first plant them. Put them in the ground, I guess, because you're not planting worms. And once they mature, they take about 15 labor at the base harvesting to harvest one of the mounds. So a full 16 by 16 of 20 mounds will take you 300 labor. On this sample harvest, I got 339 worms, which is about 17 worms per mound. The worms at this time of recording were selling for about 6 silver and 22 copper per worm. That was the average on the auction house. And I ended up putting mine up for 6 silver, 44 copper because that was the highest sold in the 7 day average. And it came out to a total of 21 gold, 83 silver, 16 copper for this 116 by 16 of bait worms. So at 21 gold, 83 silver, we use 300 labor for the farm, divide it out, comes out to 7.3 silver per labor, which is pretty awesome, especially for a passive method of gold farming. Next, I wanna go over some cool features that are on the auction house that I didn't know about at first, so maybe some of you guys don't know about them. There are some tool tips, or tool tips, psh, tools built in that allow you to check the highest cost that an item is sold for, the lowest price that it is sold for, the seven day week average cost that people are selling, for instance, these worms for, and the same day average price. They also have a chart that shows how many have sold every day. I guess it's technically a bar graph, but how many have sold every day for the last week so you can know if 
they're selling on your server frequently or not. I would definitely recommend becoming comfortable with these tools. That way you can make sure that whatever crop you're going to grow, harvest, and try to sell is something that is selling on your server and is selling for a decent price instead of you know, spending a whole bunch of vocation badges or a whole bunch of gold to buy a ton of seeds or saplings, grow them up, and find out that you're not going to make as much of a profit as you had hoped you would. And for my final recommendations on how to use the auction house, Every time I put an auction up or an item up for auction, I always hit the 48 hour radio button. So the item is up on the auction house for 48 hours instead of for 6 or 12 or 24. You have a higher chance of selling them if they're on the auction house for a longer period of time. It increases the deposit amount, but whenever I put an item up for 48 hours, it tends to sell and you get that deposit back. So in my opinion, it's worth it. Now, 21 gold and 83 silver might not seem like a lot, but you have to realize that you can harvest these worm mounds very often. They only take three hours to mature, so that's a total of eight times per day that you're able to harvest these worm mounds. So if you have 116 by 16, you're getting an average of 21 gold and 50 silver. I'll round down just for the sake of it. That's, that comes out to 172 gold for 1600 labor every day. If you get a second 16 by 16, which is not difficult to do on one character, that's 344 gold for 3200 labor on two 16 by 16 farms. Now, I know it's not very realistic to harvest every three hours because then you're gonna, well, you're gonna have no sleep schedule. It's gonna be terrible. But what's more important, sleep or arcage? Finally, if you want to get real hardcore about it and get two alt accounts that way you can use the labor of three accounts because you're allowed to have three accounts technically which i don't like but i digress you can make over a thousand gold a day harvesting worm mounts raising these worms harvesting them selling them on the auction house completely worry free no pirates no pvp just getting your hands dirty well, that's all I have for you guys this week, so hope you enjoyed the video, could get something out of it. Let me know in that comment section whether you liked it, didn't like it, liked parts, didn't like parts. Whatever feedback you have, I love reading it, I love interacting with you guys. Thanks again for watching my video. If you like it, please hit that like and subscribe, and until next time, see ya.